Okay, we're going to do a short piece on, um, there's all these stripped rabbit hide products with fur on. Why on earth would somebody choose one over the other? Well, here's a starter, and this ain't going to be the whole story. Um, the crosscut strips, if you consider the rabbit hide, you got the head of the hide, the tail of the hide. The strips are cut across. So the hair points this way from head to tail. If you cut the strips across, you think about this. The hair comes off the hide at an angle. And these are most, the use for these, if I get it aimed the right way, and remember, I will always, I'm going to wrap this around a hook shank, um, and I want the hide to be in front and the hair to angle towards the rear of the hook. So this is, this is what it looks like. It comes off at an angle, and I'm going to wrap it around that hook shank, and it's going to aim at an angle towards the rear of the fly, uh, and it's going to pulsate this way. Now a strip is cut differently. Actually these are all strips. Those are cross-cut strips, and these are they just call them straight strips. These are cut from the head of the hide to the tail hide. They're going to be longer, if you notice, because uh, they can use the full length of the hide. Going, the hides are narrower going across, so your cross-cut pieces just can't be as long because the hide isn't as wide. Uh, so, with the strips, the hair comes straight off the strip. These, I would use if I, uh, I could pre-cut these and I would tie this in as a tail on an egg sucking leech. If I had a longer piece I would use this as a uh, zonker style of fly where you would separate that fur, you'd tie this part in, this would be the tail. You could do an underbody of various kinds and then you hold this over the top of the fly and tie it right in at the head. So you have this, <clears throat> this is the back of your, the backing or the back or the shell of your fly. This makes great steelhead prawn flies, salmon prawn flies, and all sorts of bait fish flies. Now, would you ever wrap this around the hook shank? Absolutely. Um, when a person ties a double bunny, um, I'm going to show you something here that uh, I didn't get a color contrasting piece, but to tie a double bunny, well, let's just, we'll do that actually, we'll do that in a separate video. Here's one more product. This is Bunny Boo. Uh, this only comes in strips. This is very, very interesting stuff. Uh, because it's cut in strips, it's quite long. If you look at this material compared to the standard, this is a, from a different breed of rabbit. The hair is not quite as long. You don't have guard hairs, but this is much a much denser fur. So when you're tying your zonkers, you're going to get more bush in your zonker. And you, you can tie this stuff this stands up really nicely. <laughs> Look at how that stands up. 
imagine my index finger and hook shank. Think about, think about how that's going to wiggle in the water. So you can use these for your egg sucking leeches. You can use them for saltwater patterns, uh, tarpon flies, uh, bonefish, permit. Um, you can use little tufts of this material for tails. Think about that as a little tail on a leech. Fucking this this is hot stuff. Yeah. Bunny boo is great material, very versatile, um, great color selections. It's worth giving a try.